Hey there, how's it going everybody? Dan here with PlantAbundance.com. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what you can do if you see this on your roses. So here we are, it's still early spring and as you can see the rose bushes are starting to re-emerge with some beautiful flowers. But as we take a closer look here you can see how some of these leaves aren't looking so healthy. They're yellowing, they've got spots on them. Now this is one of the most common plant diseases to affect rose bushes and it's called black spot. It's caused by the fungus Diplocarpin rose. Oh, and by the way, an added tip is, you can see this cord here, this is actually a landscape colored extension cord. And I like to use this as almost an invisible way to help to train my rose bushes. I also do the same thing with my fruit trees. So moving along, what you want to do when you first start seeing this type of a pattern emerge on your rose bush is to remove those leaves right away. You can easily do that by plucking it downward off of the main canes and they just come right off. And you're going to want to make sure to remove those completely from the landscape. Do not put them in a compost pile. That fungus can proliferate and come back year after year. So I'm just going to continue to go around and anywhere I see any yellowing or spotted leaves, I'm just going to go ahead and pull those off. It's all about getting ahead of the game here. And by removing those leaves, we're helping to stop the proliferation of this fungus. This is also going to help in creating more aeration throughout the bush, which is very beneficial. So keep that in mind when you do your pruning. You really want airflow to be able to circulate all throughout the bush. So taking out some of that inward growth and opening up the middle is going to be beneficial. It's also going to allow sun to penetrate in and roses love full sun. So once you've removed all the diseased leaves, make sure to pick up any fallen leaves that are around the rose bushes as well because these fungus spores can actually overwinter and then reinfect your leaves and the canes of your rose bush the following year. The next step that I'm going to recommend to defeat this fungus is to go ahead and spray down the bush with a copper fungicide. This is an organic method, so I recommend using about two tablespoons per gallon and a half of water. and just throw the top on, give it a few pumps, and we're ready to rock. Optionally, if you're concerned about any heavy metals like copper accumulating in the soil and affecting the soil food web, which can happen if you're applying these type of treatments regularly, you can simply lay down a drop cloth or a garbage bag around the base of the plant, and that's going to help to catch any of the copper dripping off the plant from soaking into the soil. And in my opinion, if you're only going to spray a couple times a year, you can probably forego this step. Now before we go any further, I just want to mention this treatment is best used as a preventative, whereas you spray the plant just after new growth begins to emerge in the spring and also after heavy pruning. And if you are going to apply this treatment onto a fully grown plant, you want to make sure you don't do it in full sun, so wait either till later in the evening or on an overcast day. So now I'm just going to fully spray down this rose bush, making sure I get both the top and the bottom of all the leaves. And it's really important that you wear a face mask while you're applying this product. You don't want to inhale any of the mist that may come your way. And you really want to spray down the whole plant very well until you see it dripping off of all the branches and leaves. Next, I'm going to recommend that you get your roses on a regular fertilization schedule. Here I've got some organic granular fertilizer. When it comes to rose bush fertilizer, I pretty much buy whatever's on sale as long as it's organic. I also really like applying liquid fertilizer, especially this fish emulsion here. I find the liquid fertilizer to be most beneficial during the earlier stages of growth before blooming as it's higher in nitrogen. And because the fertilizer is in the liquid form, it also does a great job at getting those nutrients to the plants straight away. Whereas the granular fertilizers are more of a slow feed. So fertilizing your roses isn't only going to help the plant to help defend itself against some of these diseases, it's also going to help the plant to produce more healthy flowers, and that's what this is all about, right? Finally, I'm going to talk about the correct way to water your roses. Now this black spot fungus especially thrives in humid weather conditions and if you're watering all the foliage of your plant, not just at the base, you're actually helping to create the right conditions for this type of fungus to thrive. So it's very important that when you're watering your roses that you water around the base and try to keep as much of the water off of the foliage as possible. Well that's it for now everybody. I hope you found this video helpful or entertaining in some way. If so, please don't forget to rate the video. Your comments are always appreciated. And remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to get all the future updates on this and many other projects growing on around here. Alright everyone, well have a great day and I'll be talking to you again real soon.